What is going on guys? Welcome back to the cyberpunk world where we go over real life news stories with a cyberpunk flair that indicate we're headed for a distinctly dystopian future. Getting into our first story, we have the removal of the Digidog, robot pooch from the NYPD. If you guys have been paying attention, yes the NYPD did experiment with using the Boston Dynamics robot known as Spot in the field to help conduct surveillance, but was met with quite a bit of backlash, so they were kind of forced to fire the poor guy. Can you imagine if they had put some of the better Boston Dynamics robots into the field and had them opening doors? I thought he was kind of cool, but I get it can be pretty creepy to see a robot dog who looks like Poochie's dad with the blue yeti microphone as a head prancing around the streets. I've also seen a couple resources on how to combat a police digi dog if you see it brutalizing someone, so I'll be looking out for that one on Worldstar. Moving on, we have some updates on Elon Musk's crazy brain implant product Neuralink. Apparently quadriplegic Nathan Copeland, who does have a BCI or brain computer interface that's allowed him to regain the sense of touch via a robot appendage, has challenged Pager, the 9 year old monkey with a Neuralink implant, to a game of Pong. In this challenge, they'll be controlling the paddles with their minds. Drop a comment and let me know who your money's on, but I've got the monkey, not because I think he will have superior control, but because Nathan here looks like he's been smoking too much of that OG Kush. On a more serious note, BCIs have the potential to revolutionize the lives of those involved in accidents leading to para and quadriplegia, so I think this is all something we can get behind. I'm just wondering when the corpos get their hands on this, are we gonna have to pay for pay per view for these mind to mind interspecies showdowns? On the subject of using one's mind to play video games, Gabe Newell, head of Valve, thinks that your meat peripherals will be obsolete one day, just like that GTX 960 you have in your computer. Valve has been working on brain-computer interfaces when it comes to gaming for a while now, mentioning that the data from your brain signals will one day be able to create gaming experiences far better than you can experience with your meat peripherals, aka your ears and eyes. Valve is also involved in discussions surrounding BCIs that are quote, undistinguishable from science fiction, and is currently working on an open source BCI software project that will allow developers to interpret signals from players' brains using modded VR helmets. Pretty cool, but I'm honestly scared how editable these mind's eye experiences are going to be, and how we'll be able to distinguish this from reality in the future. Moving on, check out how realistic deepfakes are these days with this deepfake of Tom Cruise. Straight out of TikTok, we have this deepfake showing off a significantly younger Tom Cruise, acting like he's fresh out of the loony bin as per usual. Clean, but you need that exfoliating product to really cut through the grime. Okay, just another tip for you talkers, or the tip. <clears throat> The TikTok tips. I, I'm getting too old for that. I don't. <laughs> Anyways, incredibly lifelike and real, although you can tell some inconsistencies upon further inspection, especially with the speech and the teeth. I guess they need to yoink some of that jolly tech used in Cyberpunk 2077 to complete the package. Now, the Cyberpunk future wouldn't be complete without giant mechs of some sort, and the minds over at Skeletonics have made this a reality with these huge hulking metal exosuits. These will set you back around $93,000 US and Skeletonics explains the suit as follows. Skeletonics is a 9 foot tall robot suit that offers an extraordinary experience. By wearing Skeletonics, you'll be able to feel what it's like to be a giant. Although it resembles a giant robot, you'll be amazed by the reality and flexibility of the movements you can make. Remarkably, the suit is not powered by electricity. Instead, it moves thanks to patented technology that relies on the kinetic energy of the wearer's movements, to allow the suit to smoothly and directly reflect every move you make. The surprising agility of this enormous body gives everyone who wears it a thrill. I'll be starting a GoFundMe so I can cop one of these, so if you want to help Neon get into a giant Gundam wing, there's a link in the description. Moving on, it seems like futuristic sex dolls will actually be selling in-app purchases mid-intercourse to anyone sad enough to purchase a futuristic sex doll. Now I assume these microtransactions are akin to upgraded sexual favors by traditional prostitutes, but at this point I'm so confused as to why this is a thing that I'm not really sure anymore. Maybe a lubricated handy will run you 500 desperation dollars, or whatever ridiculous name they may end up calling their in-app currency. Now that's all for this episode, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, share, do your thing. And for more cyberpunk world, join Neon Nation by subscribing to the Neon Arcade.